Welcome again to another session of On Common Ground. Today, my guest is Vito Bavaro. Vito, welcome. Thank you for having me. Uh, you're a junior. I am, yeah. Uh, you were in my class in freshman year, so. <laughs> freshman year, first semester. That's yeah. right, so I, it scared you right out of the spot <laughs> yeah. as you came in. Right out of the gate. Um, you're from Sar Saratoga, Florida. Sarasota, Florida. 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 Yeah. Um, and you're a hockey player. Hockey player, yeah. Seems a little incongruous. The yeah. warm weather. How, tell us how you got involved in hockey. Well, it was definitely a long road. Um, I was born in New Jersey. Um, I grew up, I just tried it out there. When I moved to Florida, we kind of quit for a little bit. Um, obviously, hockey isn't too big down south. Uh, we picked it back up. Um, and then when I was 13, 14, I left for boarding school. Um, so I've been away from home for a pretty long time at this yeah. point. And then, um, and then my junior year of high school, uh, Sacred Heart coaches, they recruited me. And then the next year I was here and happy to be here. And you're doing well. I am doing well, yeah. Uh, and where did you go to uh, high school? Uh, I went to Brooks School. It's in North okay. Andover, Massachusetts. Okay, so you're up in the hockey country anyway. Yeah, I was up in the Northeast. Which is great. And so your major is still business? Yeah, uh, sport management marketing. I have a double. Great. Um, so it keeps me busy. Yeah, and have you done any internships? Uh, I did. I had a marketing internship this past summer um, in Midtown uh, with a small company called Star Power. Um, so it was, a, it was a really good experience. Um, the city is a crazy place, obviously, yeah. but uh, it was definitely good to get to get to know the city and experience kind of real working life. How was the uh, internship helpful to you? Um, well, it definitely kind of showed me new doors and new opportunities. Um, definitely kind of experiential-wise, like, it definitely showed me maybe maybe I don't want to be in the city, maybe I do. Gotcha. Um, so that's kind of up in the air. But uh, working with teams and, and working kind of in a business environment was definitely beneficial for sure. And how are you finding the business school? Business school is awesome. Uh, there's a lot of opportunity for growth. There's a lot of help. Mm -hmm. um, so there's teachers and advisors for whatever you need, which is awesome. Now, when you, you entered, were you always uh, sports management as your yeah. dream? Yeah, stayed the same. So um, stayed. I'm actually anticipating going to law school um, oh, af in the fall of gradu after I graduate. So. Um, maybe a sports agent, maybe something of that nature. Oh, that's nice. But, um, you know, play it by ear, figure it out. But that's the overall end goal. Great. And being on a D1 team, how are you, how you finding that here? Well, that definitely keeps me busy. Yeah, not a lot of free time with workouts and travel and games. But, you know, I wouldn't want it any other way. Um, you know, it's been the best experience of my life so far. And, yeah. and I'm super happy to, to be a part of it. And what, what actually is your season from workout time to the end? <laughs> well, our season kind of starts the day we get to campus, essentially. Um, it's, you know, we have workouts and, and practices. Um, the official season doesn't start till October, but we usually go with workouts and, and, you know, runs, things like that from, you know, essentially the day we get here till the end of March. So mm. kind of the whole year um, in season, which is pretty crazy, but, you know, it's good and it's healthy and it's fun. So Now, where do you live now? Um, I live uh, off campus in an off campus house. Um, but group, the last group of teammates? Yeah, a group of teammates. So it was, um, you know, it's good to get to live with them. And, sure. And I've been living with them for the past three years, uh, the past two years on campus, and then oh, this good. year as well off campus. So it's good. Good group yeah, of guys. Um, maybe a foolish question, but do you have any free time to do anything besides the, do what the coaches ask? <laughs> we don't have a lot of free time. Um, you know, obviously, if I had a little bit more free time, I would hope to have been a part of uh, some clubs, some, some more extracurriculars, but... Have you been able, because of your time and uh, involvement, been able to make other friends outside of the hockey team? Yeah, we've met, I've met a lot of friends, um, you know, definitely with freshman orientation. It's funny, um, you know, how important that was. Sure. You know, I have some of my best friends that aren't on the hockey team from my orientation group and just kids sure. that I met um, at orientation. Um, so that's pretty, uh, it's pretty funny to look back and, you know, three years later, those kids that you met, you know, that yeah. scared first day of on campus and are now some of your best friends. So it's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah we believe the orientation uh, sessions are really important yeah. for incoming freshmen. You just uh, attested to that. If um, the two questions I always ask, uh, where's your favorite place just to hang out on campus? Um, you know, it's funny. Recently, it's been JP's. You know, late. Wise you choice. Want, yeah, Wise absolutely. Choice. You know, you want a milkshake or a quick burger or something. It's it's a good spot to hang out. The people are awesome there, and it's been a good addition to campus for sure. Good. Uh, yeah, a lot of lot of activity there, especially late at night or early in the morning. Yeah. Depending on which which uh, which way you look at. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And if you had to sum up your experience at Sacred Heart in a word, what would it be? Um, it'd definitely be grateful. You know, I'm happy to be here, and you know, when the Sacred Heart uh, coaches and 
and the staff kind of recruited me. Um, I was happy and I came to campus and I loved everything about it. So, you know, grateful to be here and grateful to be a pioneer at this point. Great. Well, good luck. Um, you still got some time here, but it's great you're looking to pursue uh, legal. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, it. Good luck. Get another internship. Get it under your belt. And it's great having you. It was great to have you in class also. Yeah, appreciate it. Thanks for having me today. Thanks, Vito. Thank you very much. Okay.